how to drive this thing. This is like your job to do this thing, not me. What was we gonna talk about? Oh, the property. Um, we bought the property from his parents in, was it 93? I think so, 93 or 94. And how long has it been in your family? Uh, since 1930. So what we used to do years ago when we were a lot younger <laughs> and a lot more energy, mm -hmm. um, we had, we wanted to be our own little farmers and we started out with chickens because mm -hmm. obviously I had chickens growing up so that was a pretty easy switch when I was younger. My dad worked at a co-op so he got free chickens and we just had chickens for a long time so I knew how to do chickens and that was pretty easy. But then what do we do we, after chickens? We bought, um, for some reason, I wanted to get goats. And I thought goats would be really cool because I enjoyed watching them playing, jumping, bucking, kicking, I, and they would eat anything. And they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> they, At least the ones he had were awful. They could be a pain when they wanted to be, but you know, they were they were a lot of fun to watch. No. Um, and there's not, I don't know, and we might have done it the wrong way. I don't know. We we didn't really make money off goats. I'd say we more lost money on goats mm -hmm. than anything else. Um, and they're horrible, evil creatures. <laughs> she did not like goats. But. And then our boy, he wanted ducks. Yep. So we dug a little pond. I can't even really call it a pond. No, it was, it was more like, like a, a water. It was more like a hole. Yeah, it was like six foot around <laughs> and about a foot and a half deep. And he, he had to go out there and fill it about every three days. But he got, he got into ducks. He probably had 14, 15 mm -hmm. different kinds of call ducks, pecans. He had all kinds of different kinds of ducks. And then... I bought guineas. Well, the duck, going back to the ducks, you guys really like the... Yeah, I like the, the eggs. eggs. They're very good. I'm not... I wasn't <laughs> a real big good. fan of the duck eggs. Except for duck eggs make really, really good... Um, French toast because they kind of have a little bit of their own sweet taste mm -hmm. to it. So they make really, really good French toast. And then we got guineas. We got some guineas because we thought that they would help with the bug population. And they did. They, they did. And they're good watchdogs. If something comes in the yard or whatever, they will go. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of guineas, but they are loud. They are loud creatures. And I didn't mind the loudness, though. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of. Actually, it was kind of cool. I didn't really mind mm -hmm. the sound. But feeding them, they're evil too. Because you go into their little nest area. or Because we had um, runs for the different chickens and ducks and fannies and then mm -hmm. the guineas. But you open up the guinea thing and those suckers would just fly right at you and bonk you on the head. Yep, bonk you right on top of the head every time. Well, they didn't do that to me because I knocked them out of the sky a couple times. So they quit doing that to me, but they always mm -hmm. did that. To I, me. I have it's probably because you know I don't have the forehead, I've got a five head, mm. and forehead is supposed to be for four fingers. Mm. I've got the extra got a five head, mm. so that probably looked like a really good landing spot or something. <laughs> Wham! Every single time, had a couple pigs, yep, did pigs for a while, yep, had pigs, and then obviously, I've always done gardening mm. so. I like gardening, I like canning. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. we had a huge garden and did lots and lots. Lots of, of canning. canning. Lots of canning, a lot of freezing. Mm -hmm. Freezing vegetables, canning vegetables, soups, juice. Yep, and that was all fine and dandy. But life happens and it was just, honestly, we just, we got too big too fast yeah, and yeah. we got overwhelmed and instead of scaling back like we probably should have, we just was like, okay, we're done. Yeah, took it all the auction house. I think we sold all of it. We kept some random chickens that were here because I think at one point in time we had like 80, 86 or 90 chickens. Well, I think we overwhelmed ourselves. Yeah. Too big, too fast. Mm -hmm. So then we had years of 
pretty much nothing. Well, I guess I always had chickens. You always had chickens. From then on, yeah. you, you've always had, you've always then, had chickens because it's always nice to have fresh eggs. No. And then, for the most part, I had garden. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say I had a garden every year, but um, yeah, I had gardens here and there. But we really, we really, when we sold out, we, we were pretty much done. We burnt ourselves out pretty bad. So we were done for many, many, many years. But I heard somewhere that you need to find a scripture and you just hold on to that scripture. So um, we were going through some things financially and um, we got a scripture it was John 10.10. 10. And um, it talks about having an abundant life. And obviously when you say abundant life, a lot of people just instantly think it's finances yeah, and right. stuff like that. And that would be fine if it said abundant money, but that's not what it says. It says mm. abundant life. Abundant life. So we've taken that scripture and we really have held on to that scripture for a long time. And... We always try to, when things start getting all crazy or whatever, we try to go back to that scripture and make sure that that's really what we're trying to do is have the abundant life. Right. You know, whether that be um, just peace in our life, maybe it is finances or... Fun. Fun. Um, health. Yep. You know, our relationship, yep. relationship with others. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just abundant life so with that you know obviously the this ground has been in his family for 90, 90 years 90 years yeah 90 years but it never had a farm name and so we've come up with a farm name that goes with john 10 10 and it's abundant acres so that's what we're going to go with and we're going to restart up and we're going to be doing things different this time um, because we really did enjoy some did. parts of the little farm thing that we had going. Mm -hmm. It's not like we want to be self-sufficient or we're not prepping or that, but we, we do, we do love our abundant acres and we do want to make it um, uh, produce some stuff that we enjoy yeah. and it's really what it's about stuff that we enjoy and that makes our life more abundant i mean it gives us it gives us joy we have this land and you know we're very blessed to have this land mm -hmm. and we just want to be able to utilize it and you know just be able to i guess that's the best way to say it just be able to use, utilize, utilize the, the ground. land yeah. that we have and Absolutely. like you said we're not preppers or homesteaders doomed, yeah. maybe i don't know i, I don't, don't think, think I, I'm, yeah i'm just saying i don't even think we're homesteaders i just think we just want to use what we have and, and enjoy make it. the most of it and enjoy it along the way yep so we did enjoy those years and so well we enjoyed parts of those years mm. um we have learned that we don't like um just having animals to have animals mm. Um, basically if we can't eat them, there's kind of yep. no point in us feeding them. No more animals. If we're not eating them, we're not, we're not going to have them anymore. Yeah. Well, except for the dog. We got to keep Rev. We're not eating him. Depends on how hungry he is. <laughs> so, um, I guess, I don't know, should we just show him what we have now and what we, maybe kind of like what we feel like we've done wrong? Uh, or just should we just show them how we want to set it up, or what do you think? Um, I guess we can just show them, show them what we did wrong. Okay. And then we can just go from there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just show you around, show you some of the stuff that we know we messed up on, or maybe it's just not as convenient as we wanted it to be, mm -hmm. and our plans to change it. <laughs> 